good day it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm I'm gonna do a few things in this quick video I'm gonna introduce you to Cisco packet tracer and the second thing is I'm gonna whip up a quick network uh, with a quick problem so Cisco packet tracer if uh, you haven't heard of it yet it's uh, pretty neat I just uh, got introduced to it just a little while ago so it's uh, I'm relatively not new to it but I haven't been using it for eons uh, if you just go to the Cisco Networking Academy, it's a Cisco Packet Tracer right there. It's a free download. Um, as it says here, Packet Tracer software available free of charge. Networking Academy instructors, students, alumni, blah, 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 blah. As long as you're registered to the NetSpace users, you can go get it for free. Please, 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 please do not ask me for the software. I cannot provide it. Uh, so just go get it from there and, uh, and you'll be good to go. So let me minimize that. So there we go, Cisco Packet Tracer. It's a simulator, so you can play with all sorts of Cisco equipment with real iOSs and real commands and real behavior without needing your traditional rack full of gear. So we're going to build a quick network here. So first thing we're going to do is um, let's go get a couple switches. Do 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 do. I'm going to my switch inventory room. There you go. Click. Hey, I got a switch. And then click. Hey, I got a switch. And if you click on a switch, you'll actually see it's booting up with a real iOS, which is kind of neat. All right. So he's booting up, he's booting up. I'm going to go get myself a router. Uh, let's go with the 2911 and 2911. We seem to have those in stock. Now we're going to hook up a wire. So we're going to go to our connections and straight through from switch to router on port 1 on the switch. And I'll choose port 1 on the router. Same deal here, straight through cable, switch 1 and 1. I always try to like to line up those port numbers if I can just to make it easier on my brain. And now router to router, let's just go with a straight Ethernet connection. Uh, so we're going to use a crossover cable. Boink, zero, and boink, zero. So there you go. It's all wired up. So now all we have to do is uh, let's put a couple addresses on these routers and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to click on this first router here. And uh, do you want to continue with your configuration dialog? No. We know what we're doing. We are smart people. So there's uh, the router prompt enable or privilege mode from there we're going to just show the running config just to just to make sure we know what we're dealing with here there you go so we've got uh, interface 0 1 and 2 all right so that's good so configure terminal or conf t and from there we're going to go to interface gig gi 0 slash 0 ip address so this always kind of pays uh, ahead of time to have a little diagram or something in your head on the networking uh, diagram or the addressing, that kind of deal. So I'm just going to make up some addresses here. 192.168.1.1 with a 24-bit mask. 1968 <laughs> I cannot talk and type at the same time. There we go. Done. And um, like all routers, actually most routers the interfaces are all shut down so we'll crank that up and then we'll go to interface 01 there you go and we're gonna give that thing an IP address as well IP address this will be the 10 10 10 0 network so we're gonna give this guy an IP address of dot oh I don't know let's give it dot one there you go Bingo, and no shot. Oops, typo. I'm leaving all the typos in, all the nasties and the uglies. And new shutdown. All right, get it together, Tony. So now our router's all done. Router one, let's go to router two. Boink. And we don't want our configuration dialog. We want enable, and we want config T. Sometimes I put all this in Notepad ahead of time, and I just paste it in because, as you can see, sometimes you do a mess of typos. But, you know, that's that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. We're all family. And I'm continuing with the nonsense. Show run. There we go. So we have ports 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to do the same deal. Config T. Config T. The typos are continuing. <laughs> Want me working on your network? <laughs> Interface. Gig. 0, 0. There you go. And that's the other link that connects the routers together. So 192.168.1. Again, this is the other side. So we'll do give them two. We'll do the same 24 bit mask. There you go. Look at that. 
There you go. All right. So there's our IP address. No shut. There you go. And port one. And we'll make this network IP address. We'll make this network the 10.10.20 .10 network. 24-bit network. mask. Just easier. I know on the WAN link we could use a different mask. I know that, but that's fine. No shut. There we go. So now everything's cranked up on the routers. Uh, if you did want to do this properly, you could actually just do the old uh, write uh, mem for the old school guys or uh, copy run to start. And you could do that as well. Just to make it's good practice, you know. So there you go. The routers are up and running. We're going to come over here to our switch. And again, enable mode, config T. Interface VLAN 1. And from there, we're going to give him an IP address. IP, oh, I caught myself that time. IP address, it didn't feel right. 10, 10, 20, dot 2. Same 24 bit mask. There you go. And new shut. There we go. Let's go to the other guy, the other switch, enable, configure T, interface VLAN 1, IP address 10.10.10.2, there we go, cool, and new shut, done. So now from our switch we can ping our router. See what happens. Dun dun dun! It worked. And from our other switch, we will ping the other side of the router. And wait for it. There it is. And lastly, we'll just go to a router here, and we'll ping the other side of that link. So ping 192.168.1.1. Wait for it. There you go, done. There you go. So real simple, simple network setup. Uh, for the people who've caught on, there is no routing setup, and that'll be the next video because I noticed this one's getting a bit long. All right. So hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.